If that does not look amazing, I don't know what does. Hi guys, I'm Isabel. Welcome to a new video. I just woke up and I made myself some decaf iced coffee. I usually do that in the morning. For this video, I'm going to take you along with me during my chem week. I am going to be in the lab every day for this week and I thought I thought it's gonna be horrible enough um, and why not take you with me um, and I thought it might be interesting for you to give you some insights into my study life into my uni life. I am in the lab every day this week in the afternoon from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. so I do have some time in the morning to get ready and get prepared for the day because we also have these little it's not an exam but like they ask us questions and if we answer correctly we will get points so that's scary because chemistry is just scary for me. I thought I'd take you with me right on the first day to give you a raw experience of how nervous I am and how much of a mess I am. And it's not that I don't like chemistry, I do like it. It's just very hard. Usually for my uni, I don't have to go there. Um, and if I go there, it's usually just for lectures. So you're just there, no one cares about you. The prof in front is just talking and you don't have to interact. But with classes, like the chemistry class I have, you have to interact with maybe other students and quite possibly, or actually quite likely, with the prof or higher students, because usually higher students are there to look after you and to give you advice. I just hope they're nice, actually. I just hope they're nice. My social anxiety, I was never sure if I have social anxiety, but me being freaked out one week before having to go to the lab, I think that quite sounds like social anxiety. I don't know. So, get something to drink, get something to eat, and enjoy me being all stressed and anxious at my chemistry course. Was there something else I wanted to say? I will now do a little bit of prepping for my first day today, and then I will make myself breakfast. And then we're gonna go to uni. It's half past nine. I have to leave at 12, so that's over two and a half hours. I think my sister just texted me because I was asking her about a TikTok I'm gonna post tonight because yesterday I was editing until half past 12 in the night. I was editing two videos, so I have one for today and for tomorrow so that I don't have to stress too much about it when I'm in the lab. Because I'm studying, then I'm in the lab, then I'm working out, and then I'll have to edit in the night and I will keep not getting enough sleep because that's my problem at the moment. I am not sleeping enough. It's just that I don't really have the time for it, but that's okay. It's just one week. I have to keep telling myself that there is no need to be nervous, um, that I will manage, and if I don't manage, then that's fine. I don't want to keep stressing that much. Stressing that much. Stressing that much. Oh, my Jesus See, I'm stressing too much. Oh my gosh. I am stressing too much and I want to reduce that because first off it's not good for me and second off it feels terrible. I stress so much about social media and about uni and but I'm not perfect and I just have to accept it. It's gonna be fine. So I am going to pack my things for uni now and I wanted to show you my lab kit that I have to wear. I also have to wear jeans and these are the only ones I have. I don't have to wear jeans but they told us that we shouldn't wear like gym leggings or stuff like that because chemicals might burn into it easily and then you get hurt. So jeans are the best option. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna be wearing. I'm not gonna go there like this, I'm gonna take it with me. But yes, this is how I will be looking in the lab. It is filled with cat hair. Okay, I gotta get rid of the cat hair. Before I can pack it, I prepared my breakfast yesterday. It's overnight oats with some vanilla yogurt, blueberries and melted dark chocolate. I like to use, I like to use this one because it's without any sugar. For uni, I don't even know if I have time to eat. They say you can bring something to drink. They didn't say if I can bring something to eat, but I know that I will be starving if I don't eat anything until six. So I prepared some chia pudding and I'm gonna top it with some bananas, some maple syrup, and then I will take these two with me. We probably will be able to take breaks so I can eat this. Thank you. 
and I'm gonna start my day with some prepping for my lab day again because yesterday I wasn't that prepared to be honest. I've got my iced decal coffee again. Yesterday when I came home I had a little breakdown because it was everything was a bit too much again. At least I've got my coffee. I was also looking for Mike's birthday present yesterday in the evening and this was stressing me out so much too because I wanted to surprise him with a trip to somewhere I'm not going to say. He already knows now that I'm planning a trip for him because I was trying to rent a car and I was so scared that I was doing something wrong. Why am I scared of everything? I'm scared of renting a car. I'm scared in the lab that I break something. I just, I hope I'll find a good offer because I really want to surprise him with a trip. He already knows that's going to be a trip. He doesn't know where and he doesn't know when and he doesn't know for how long. So I'm still going to pull a little surprise off. Everything stresses me out and for no reason, like literally for no reason. In my heart, I know that all the stress is just so unnecessary, but still I'm so stressed. Why am I like this? Comment if you're like that too. I am going to eat this now. Watch a little bit of YouTube to take a little break.
It's day three of my lab week, so I only have three more days to go. Yesterday I met a girl in the lab and she was actually really nice and we did the experiments together, so that was pretty cool. The other girl that I mentioned before that I thought didn't like me, I'm so sure she doesn't like me, but she's nicer and we're actually doing everything. It's a group of three now. And I thought I'd end the vlog here because if I kept going it would just become repetitive because all I'm doing actually is just getting ready for my chemistry course and then going to my chemistry course, doing experiments, going home <laughs> or going to the gym. So I thought I'd end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up and if you are still in school or at university, comment and let me know what you're studying because I'd be really interested in that. And um, yeah, we'll see you next week. Hey guys, don't mind my voice. My nose is pretty congested at the moment. I just wanted to quickly let you know that we have a summer shred challenge coming in June. Summer is knocking on the door, so if you haven't achieved that summer body yet, maybe it's not too late. Isabel and I will reward the person that accomplishes the most impressive transformation in June. May that be the biggest shred transformation or the biggest bulk transformation. The winner will get the prize package worth 200 euros. All you have to do to enter is being a member of our RIP coaching program and uploading your before and after photos. You can enter until June 2nd. Right now our sale is still going on, so check out this link and become a member today.